Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is Pilates for men. So gentlemen, this is a class for you. We're gonna work through your mobility, flexibility, and at the same time, we're going to challenge your strength. So let's begin the class. We're gonna start on your knees, please. So down on your knees, hands on the shoulder. We're gonna start with some shoulder mobility. So bring the elbows together. Rolling down and up and circling around. We're just going to breathe in and exhale. Three more. Exhale. Two. Last. The other way. We go down, back and forward. And around. You can challenge the mobility of the shoulder. Go as wide as you like. And two more. And let it go. Shake it out. Okay, interlace your hands at the back of your head, please. Now from here, I'd like you to draw in your abdominal muscle, stabilize the pelvis. Let's rotate to your right as you breathe out. Inhale, center. To the left. In breath, center. To the right, to the left, pelvis is stable, and last one each side, and, and let it go. I'd like you to straighten your left leg out to the side, press the sole of your foot down, Press your hip forward, take your arms out to the side. Now side bending to your right side. Really try to push the front of your hip forward and take the top arm over. And we're gonna stay here in a lateral stretch. We inhale, lengthening out through the arms and anchoring down to your foot. Exhale, again, inhale, reaching. Exhale. One more, inhale, reach through, exhale, reach the arm up, recruit your obliques, pull up, and let side bend ourselves over to the other side. And inhale, lengthening out through the arms, exhale, and two more breath. Last breath and come back up. Now here, I'd like you to sit the pelvis back towards the back heel and take the arms forward and we're just gonna stretch here. Try to maintain a long spine. In breath, exhale, two more. Last one. And lift the pelvis up, arms up to the T position and release everything. Let's go to the other leg. So stretch your right leg out, arms out to the T position, recruit your hamstring, press the hips forward, lift the abdominal wall, side bend ourselves over to your left, and top arm comes over. And inhale, lengthening and reaching out. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Reach the arm up, come up, recruit your obliques, and side bend over to the other side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, again, lengthen. One more. And arms up to the T position, sit the pelvis back, and reach the arm forward, and we stretch here. Inhale, maintain a nice long back. Exhale, if you can, press the sole of the foot down. One more. And lift up, arms up to the T position and take the leg back in. Okay, let's sit down. Face the front of your mat. Legs in diamond position. Knees are open to the side. Perching on your sitting bone and arms are nice and long. The spine is nice and tall. We in breath. As we exhale, we take our abdominal muscle, 
bring our lumbar spine into a deep flexion here. And then we roll back. We bring the sacrum down to the floor. We bring the lower back down to the floor in breath. Exhale, recruit the abdominal, lift up, take the body over. And then lift the spine, let's open the arms out to the T position. And arms forward, C curve. We roll back, get the sacrum down on the floor, get the lower spine down on the floor, in breath. Exhale, recruit the abdominal, bring the body over, lift the spine, open the arms. Let's go two more times. Arms are forward, lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and feel the stretch of that sacrum and the lower spine as you roll down, using the abdominal. Exhale, come forward, lengthening through the back, opening up across the front of the chest. Last one, please. Arms forward. Here, round back, roll back. Now this time we're going to transition ourselves to the floor. So stay in the chest lift position. Bring your feet, arms by the side, to a parallel position. And then release the head down. Okay, I'm just going to readjust myself to the middle of the mat. You may do so. Okay, now your feet are in parallel position. Your pelvis in a neutral and your spine in neutral. Okay, approximately about a fist between the heels. Cross, um, open across the front of the chest. Inhale, exhale, pelvic curl. Recruit the lower abs, imprint the lower spine, deep flexion in the lower spine. Press the feet and use the hamstring to help yourself to articulate the spine into the bridging position. Spread your toes on the mat. Lift the arch of your feet. In breath. Exhale, we roll down, deep flexion, imprinting every single vertebra down to the floor and release the pelvis back to the neutral position. And exhale, from the lower abs, imprinting the lower back down to the floor, press the feet and articulate. Now try not to push up with the lower spine, but use the hamstring to peel the spine off the floor. The abdominal muscle is still sinking towards the lower spine. Inhale, lengthening from the shoulder to what's the knee joint. Exhale, we got deep flexion in the spine as you go down and release back to neutral and again we exhale and deep scoop we roll up 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 in breath exhale roll down articulate 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 and release again exhale Deep scoop, press the feet, lift the pelvis right up to that bridge position. Inhale, exhale, melting down and release. The next time we're going to stay at the top here and exhale, roll up, articulate, articulate, and then lift the pelvis a little higher. We stay here. Now, I'd like you to drop just the right hip. So, release the right bottom muscle, glute. You twist. Allow the right hip to drop, the knees are still pointing parallel, and then squeeze that right bottom, come back up to that bridging position. Drop the left hip, so you are in a twisted position. Exhale, lift. Drop the right hip, we twist the pelvis. Exhale, drop the left hip, we twist. Exhale, drop the right. Twist, drop the left. Twist, drop the right, twist up and drop the left. So your left hip flexes nice and relaxed and squeeze your bum up one more side. Drop the right bottom, relax the right hip flexors and we press up and the last one. And we press up, up, up and then we roll back down. Well done. Okay, arms out to a T position. Bring your feet to the edge of your mat. Let's do some hip rolls. We're just going to drop the legs towards me, to the right. And come back to center. Drop the left to the left, the legs to the left, that is. Exhale, using the obliques, 
together, back to the middle. Then drop the legs to the right, and exhale, drop the legs to the left, exhale, and so we're going to internal and external rotation in the hip joint, and again, other side, exhale, one more each side here, exhale, and the last one, exhale, okay, walk your feet to the middle. And then I would like you to bring the right leg on top, cross the leg on top of the left. Now let's twist the spine, drop the legs to the right, exhale, recruit the obliques, pull back to center, and then rotate to the left, opposite shoulder stays down, exhale, one more side, and to the right, exhale, center, and last one to the left here, Exhale, center, release the leg. Let's go over to the other side. I have my left leg across my right. And I'm going to go to the left first as I inhale. Pulling my right side with me. Exhale. And let's go to the right. Exhale. And to the left. In breath. Exhale. And to the right. In breath. Exhale, back to center, release the leg, reestablish the pelvis position if you went offside, and take one leg up to tabletop, recruit the belly, pull up the other leg, squeeze the legs together for our spine twist to find. Let's rotate towards me as you inhale. Then extend both legs straight, pull back to the middle and center. Now I like you to bring the legs together and travel the legs together Extend them side by side, come back and pull over to the right. We extend and exhale. We fall. Inhale with twist. We extend. Exhale. We fall. Inhale, twist. We extend. Exhale. We fall. And we twist. We extend, we fall, one more each side, twist, extend, we fold, last one, twist, and extend, we fold, lower one foot down, second leg down, half your feet hip width distance apart, and interlace the hands on the back of the head, ready for our chest lift here. So we exhale, we lift the head and the chest up. Inhale, reach the arms long. Take the arms back and come back down. Again, exhale. Inhale, reach, arms up behind and exhale. Again, exhale, lift. Inhale, reach, arms, arms back, exhale, two more, reach, arms back, exhale, last one, we reach, arms back, exhale, now here, let's do that again, exhale, it's the last one, let's do one more time, arms forward, we stay. One leg up to tabletop. As you breathe out, we switch the leg. We switch. Movement comes from the hip joint. Keep the angle of the knee constant. Three. Two. Last. Both legs up to tabletop. Interlace the hands behind the head and release the head down. And we go, exhale, we lift, stay. Lower both feet down, we lift out and down. Double taps up, angle of the knee, stay constant, move from the hip joint. Three, two, one. And lower the feet down, hold the chest up, Grab the back of your thighs. I like you to lift the chest 
a little higher here. Now use your arm if you need to, deep scoop in the abdominal here. Now from here, interlace your hands behind your head again. Rotate to the right. Let's add rotation, left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Two more set. Left. Last set. Back to center. And release. Well done. I'd like you to stretch your legs long. Take your arms overhead. Let's go to the roll up, please. So squeeze in the thighs together. We take the arms and lift the head and the chest up here. Arms by the side. Exhale, scoop deep. Lift up into the chest lift. Not chest lift, the C curve positioned. Okay, now here I'd like you to lift the spine. Take your arms up next to your ears so your back is nice and tall. Now from there into a C curve again. Then we roll back, back, back. Then we take the arms overhead. We inhale, chest lift. Exhale, flex, up and over forward. Inhale, lift the spine, nice and tall. Exhale, C curve, roll back. Arms overhead, again. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, C curve. Inhale, lift. And C curve. We roll back. Arms overhead. Last one, in breath. Exhale, C curve. Lift the spine, come up tall. And C curve. We roll back. I like you to just stay in that chest lift position. Turn the palms down towards the side, by the side. Scoop deep, squeeze the legs. We want you to lift the legs up whole. For the hundreds, we go. Inhale, three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, five, and inhale. Three, four, five, and inhale through the nose and three more set two last. Hold, drag the knees, drag the knees, drag the knees, lift the chest higher and release then. Well done. One foot down, second leg down. Okay, I like you to straighten the left leg down on the floor. Let's bring the right leg up, tabletop, and then stretch the leg long, dorsiflex. You can hold onto the back of the leg here. So dorsiflex the leg. Now, I'd like you to just pull the leg a little closer to your chest here. Just a little hamstring stretch here. All right, ground the pelvis down, reach the heel in opposite direction as much as you can. Okay, and then let that go. All right, take your arms down by the side, softening the knees if you feel like your hamstring is being too challenged here. Let's go to the leg circle. We go across the body, down around, stay parallel. Exhale, inhale one round. Exhale, stabilize the pelvis. And exhale, last set, in breath. Exhale, stay the other way. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set. Exhale, stay, point, bend the knee, hold on to the shin, bring the thigh. To the outside of the rib cage, compress the hip here. Stay here in breath. Exhale, compress down. Three, two, one, and release. Foot down, bend the other knee, stretch your right leg long. All right, pelvis in the middle. Take the left leg up to tabletop, stretch the knee, and grab the back of your thigh for a quick hamstring stretch. And let's, you can actually pull the leg to. What's your chest if you have a little bit more to give? 
and just stay here. One more. Keep reaching the heel in opposite direction. And release the arm down for the leg circle. Across the body first. Inhale. Exhale. Stay parallel. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. In. Last set. Stay. Reverse. Out. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. The last set. Stay. Point. Bend the knee. Grab the shin. Pull the thigh to your ribs. Excellent. All right, compress the hip. Keep reaching the other leg long on the floor. Exhale, compress, press, press, press down. And release that. Bend the knee, bring the other one in too. We got the double leg stretch, single leg stretch, and the crisscross. Here we go. Lift one leg up, second leg up. Lift your head and the chest up, grab your shin closer to the knees. Lift the chest higher, bend the elbows, scoop deep into the belly, we stretch. Inhale, exhale, in breath, inhale, three, two, one. Okay, hands on the right knee, extend the left leg long. I like you to keep the feet at the same height. Open the elbow, scoop deep. And let's change. Exhale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hold on to the right knee, we stay. Interlace the hand behind the head, crisscross. We rotate to the bent knee and we switch. We switch. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last set. Okay, bring the legs together. Grab the shin. Pull the knee closer towards you. Can we curl the chest a little bit deeper? Drop the feet. Rock yourself up. Ah, to your rolling like a ball. Hold on closer towards the ankle. Float the feet off. Balance on your tailbone for the rolling like a ball. So your gain, your glance, your gait. Ooh, it's towards your pelvis. See, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> All right, from here, let's inhale. We roll to the shoulder. Exhale. We balance. I like it to really lock the shape of the body here. Inhale. Just like a ball, we roll back and forward through the spine. And in breath. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, balance, 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 and feet down. Okay, sit back, straighten the left, straighten the leg. Not straighten, straighten the leg. Now, have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis. I like it to maintain or create a nice long back. If that's too challenging for your hamstrings, you may soften the knees, or you may even sit on a pillow or a a block of books, something to help you to is not in the pelvic, uh, in the hip flexors. All right, so arms long, spine tall. If you can straighten the legs like what I'm doing, excellent. If not, please adjust the legs so that you can sit nice and tall here. Okay, dorsiflex the feet, in breath. Use the quartz muscle here. Exhale, roll down the spine all the way inhale can we stretch a little bit further exhale we lift the pelvic floor we lift the lower abs middle abs upper abs and upright again exhale we roll down and forward inhale reach 
Exhale, we roll up and upright. Three more times. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, can we go further? Exhale, roll up. Long back. Again. Exhale, roll down, forward, down, forward in breath. Exhale, roll up, roll up, roll up. Up tall, hold that. Arms up next to your ears. Ten shoulder flexion. We go. Two, three, spine is straight and long. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reach tall and release. Okay, let's go to your open leg rocker preparation. Grab the ankles. Grab the ankles. I like you to have your feet together. All right, the knee is slightly out, so you are in a diamond leg position. All right, arms are straight, lengthening through the back, so your spine is straight. You're slightly di leaning diagonally back here. Now, as you breathe in, I like you to create a round back, and then you roll to the shoulder, you come forward, then you lift the back, and inhale, round back, and Exhale, lift. Inhale, round back. And exhale, lift. Inhale, round back. And exhale, lift. Two more times. Inhale, round back. And exhale, lift. Last one, round back. Exhale, Left, left, we stay. Hold onto the left leg. Stretch your right leg long. Maintain the spine. We bend the knee. Stretch the left leg long. Maintain the spine. And bend. Stretch the right. And bend. Stretch the left. And one more each side. Stretch the right. And find your balance. Left one. Well done, and lower the feet down, stretch your legs long, and take your hands behind you for our back support. So your feet are slightly apart, about a fist between the heel, your chest is open, your fingertips ideally should be pointing towards the bottom, but if that's too um, tight, too challenging for the shoulder, you may rotate your palm facing, your fingertip to face outward. Okay, now here, as you breathe out, press the heels, lift the pelvis up, open across the front of the chest, press the toes down, lift the hips up a little higher, create like a reverse plank here, and we fold through the hip joint, and we sit back. Again, we lift, and we fold and hinge down. Again, we lift, we fold and hinge down. Two more, lift. Fold, hinge down. Last one, lift. And fold and hinge down. Well done. Lift tall, legs together and arms forward. We roll our spine down, arms down by the side. Bend the knees in, feet apart, parallel position. Let's go for our shoulder bridge. So we are going to pelvic curl ourselves up to the bridge. Opening across the front of the chest. And now from here, stabilize the pelvis, press the left foot down, right leg up to tabletop. And we tap, exhale, and tap, exhale, and three, and four, and five, five more, and seven, and an eight, and a nine, and a ten. We hold, straighten the leg, hold it up there for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis, 
and then press the right foot, take the left leg up to tabletop. We go down, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a ten. Hold, extend the leg, stretch. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, foot down. We establish a pelvis position. We roll down, we roll down, we roll down. Let's turn your body to me. Okay, lying on your side. I'd like you to interlace your hands to the back of your hip. Knees are together, feet align with the spine. The spine is long here. Okay, now I like you to just rotate the upper body to the back. As you inhale, exhale, come back in again. Again, inhale, we rotate, 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 exhale. We come back two more times, please. We inhale and rotate as far as you can. Exhale, idly, your legs should be stable. And one last week, inhale, rotate, rotate, rotate. Exhale, come back, come back, come back. Excellent. And let's come up onto your forearm. Straighten the legs here. For the side kick, recruit your lower obliques. You can have the hand behind you. If you need more stability, you can place your hand in front of you like so. Reach the top leg up, dorsiflex the foot, and let's kick forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more sets, back, back, last set, back, hold, extend the top arm, bring the body diagonally, reaching in opposite direction for three, two, one, come back, bend the knee, come back up to a mermaid position like so. Okay, I'd like you to, if you can, sit on both sitting bones as much as you can. Reach out through the arm, side bend over towards the back leg side. And then come back, center. Now from here, lift the pelvis up, reach up, press the hip forward and come down. Arms to the T, side bend towards the back leg side and out, lift up. And down. One more time, please. Side bend. And come back. Lift up. And release. Well done. Let's go to the other side. We'll start with the chest opener. Interlacing the hands, the back of your head. Knees are together. Feet aligned with the body. And we inhale as we rotate the upper body towards the back. Exhale. We bring ourselves back to the front. Inhale, we rotate. Exhale. We come back. And two more. Inhale, rotate. Exhale. Last one here. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, and return. Well done. Up onto your forearm. Straighten the legs for the side kick. Hand behind the head. Top leg up. Dorsiflex. We go. Two more set. Last set. Back, hold that leg, stretch the arm, reach out in opposite direction with the back leg steady for three, two, one, and return. Bend the knees, take ourselves 
to a mermaid position. Okay, arms to the T position, side bend to the back leg side, which is my left, probably your right. And T position, lift the pelvis, rise up. And down, open, side bend. And up, lift the pelvis and down. One more here, side bend. And up, lift the pelvis and come back. Well done. To our quadruped position, please. Align to the heel of the palm and the shoulder and the knee to the center of your hip. Cat stretch. We are going to recruit the abdominal, then take our spine to a deep flexion here and then through neutral spine. Inhale and take the upper thoracic back into an extension. And then through neutral, deep flexion through the lumbar spine. Your gaze is down towards the knee. And then through neutral, lengthen the spine and continue the journey of the upper back into an extension. And again, two more times. Exhale, rounding and flat and upper back reach and neutral length again rounding and flat upper back reach and back okay now lift the lower abs i like you to lengthen the love on the spine the lower back here using the abdominal stretch your right leg out squeeze the hamstrings and the glutes stretch the left leg out hold that plank position right knee comes in for the front support and out left one out right left out maintain the plank and three more set. Do not twist the pelvis. Two more. Proud across the front of chest. Last set. And we stay. Lift the lower abs. Bring the pelvis up. Really try to reach a sitting bone long. Press the floor away. Neck is long. Can we lower the heel down for a delicious stretch? On the back of the legs, sticking your booty out, pulling up the belly in here. And then here, I like you to walk your hands to your feet. So we go three, two, one. I like you to roll the spine up to standing. Okay, guys, let's go to the push up. You're gonna show me how well and how good you can do push up. We're going to roll down, walk the hand three times out to your plank position. Five push up. Beautiful shoulder blade stability, nothing of that winging of the shoulder blade. Hold the core in, walk your feet, walk your hand back, roll up one more time. Five. You're gonna do it with me, okay? So we go. Roll down, roll down, roll down. Hands on the floor, walk it down three, walk it out. I mean two, one. Okay, open across the front of the chest. Let's go. Five, four, three. Two, one, okay, walk your hand back. Three, two, one, roll up through the spine. Okay, again, we roll down and we walk your hand out. Three, two, it should be already in that plank position. And let's go, five, four, three, Two, pull up the abdominal. One, no swaying back. And let's walk it back. Three, two, one, and roll up, roll up, roll up. And we're gonna go down again. And roll down. Walk it out, three walks. One, two, three. Now here, in five counts, we are going to descend our body down to the floor. So we go five, four, Three, two, one, and release. Well done. Stretch your ankles. Bring the forearm. We've got two more exercises and we're done. Four. Next one is a single leg kick here. So opening across the front of the chest. Stretch your legs long behind you. Pick up the abdominals. 
Lift the legs off the floor. Neck is long. Right leg kicking. Left. And inhale. And inhale. And. 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 Two more sets. Last set. And stretch your legs long, 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 long. And hold the legs extension. Release the arm. Rotate your body towards me. Head turn towards me. Interlace the hands as small of the back for our double leg kick. Squeezing the legs together. Get the legs floating. Three kicks. And we go. Two. Three, reach the arms long, off your bottom, open the chest, lift the upper back, stretch your legs, head over to the other side, another trick kick please, one, two, three, inhale, reach long, reach long, longer, and on to the other side please, and inhale, reach long, longer, and longer, and other side, inhale, reach, reach, Reach and again we kick one, two, three, and inhale, reach, 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 and again we kick one, two, three, and reach, reach, reach. Last set, kick two, three, inhale, reach, reach, reach. Last one, kick two, three, inhale, reach, 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 and release. Well done. Bring the arms on the side of the shoulders. Well done. Let's push the floor, we'll pick up the belly, sit the pelvis back, and to your rest position. Ah, inhale, exhale, slow down the heart rate. One more breath, inhale, exhale, and let's go ahead and roll the spine up. Oh, to an upright position. Okay, you are done. Thank you for joining me on a mat today. And I wish you a lovely day. Have a good day.